congratulations for being the most valuable player for 2017 for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Congratulations. I just wanted to let you know that a major sponsor and the owner of your team is trying to evict me from my home of 17 years. The name is Jeffrey Records Jr. Your Why Not Foundation was created for children so that they would never give up no matter what their circumstances, no matter what their situation is. And I admire you for your work. I have two sons myself who I have been trying to teach never give up. I have withstood five eviction attempts from Monroe County Sheriff's Department. I have fought in court several times without a lawyer to keep my home. We are a people who have been enslaved and dispossessed as a result of the oppressive, exploitative, extractive system of colonialism and white supremacy. In this system, our labor and its products have been forcefully taken from us for generations, for the accumulation of wealth by others. This extraction of wealth from our labor and from the land formed the financial basis of the modern globalized world economy and has led to compounded exploitation and social alienation of black people to this day. The original harm has not been healed. In fact, the extraction of our lives, our work, our culture, our language, our children, our homes, and our dignity continues both here and abroad. The beneficiaries of the harm done to our people have a moral responsibility to address that wrong. Apologies are not sufficient. So I'm asking you, why not? Why can't I have a safe place to raise my children where they could grow and learn? We continue the legacy of those who have fought before us and have sought the return of stolen accumulated wealth. We assert the fundamental right to the resources required to create our own dignified and sustainable livelihoods through our own labor and self-governance. Key among those resources is land. I'm not just fighting for my home, I'm fighting for the homes of all the people who have been redlined, who have been segregated against, for all black Americans. That's what I'm fighting for. That's what I'm doing this for. And I would urge other African American people to unite with me because um, one of the things that my parents always taught me was if you don't do anything about the problem, then you're saying it's okay. It's okay to make me homeless in my community. It's okay for banks to um, kick people out of their homes, but it's not, it's not okay. So we need to unite as a people and come together and support this cause. So we can change what the government is doing, change what private industry is doing. This is what I'm asking. If you can, Russell, help me stand up and defend against um, the cruelty of Mid First Bank. One of the things I was always taught as a young person um, was never to give up. And it was very encouraging to me to know that you have a foundation telling people never to give up. And I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give in to Mid First Bank. And I want everybody in the whole world to support me in this and join me in the liberation of my home from Mid First Bank.
We're fighting for our houses, we shall not be moved. We're fighting for our houses, we shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by the water, we shall not be moved. On our way to victory, we shall not be moved. On our way to victory, we shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by <laughs> we shall not, we shall not be moved. We shall not, we shall not be moved. <laughs>